Afternoon friends. I uh, hope y'all have had a blessed day today. I had earlier made a video explaining how that I would do a live broadcast with Miss Cookie. Well, wouldn't you know it that I would have to work over two hours late. I didn't get off work till well after five o'clock. Uh, Miss Cookie did come by. I did have some donations uh, that we received. Um, and I gave her those. And I just told her that we would have to do the broadcast one day next week because for the next like four or five days I'm closing. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on with that. And she was okay with that. She just asked that we would pray for her because she is not physically doing well. And she just prays for our strength. Uh, pray. She's asking, <laughs> she's asking us to pray for her strength is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, it's uh, after midnight. I'm tired. It's been a long day. But... Uh, before I call it a day, I wanted to pick up in 1 John chapter 3 and continue reading in God's holy word. It says, God's word tells us, Behold, of course that means to look upon. Behold what manner of love the Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us so that we should be called the sons of God and for this reason the world does not know us because the world did not know Jesus nor did the world know God beloved now now we are the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he appears, we will be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now that right there is one of the greatest scriptures that we are all looking forward to. Beloved, now we are the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. See, right now we know that we're humans. We're humans in fleshly bodies. But it says that we do not know what shall we be. Friend, we're going to be, we're not going to be humans anymore. What? We're not going to be humans, no. In that day, it says, but we know that when he, meaning Jesus Christ, appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. You see, Jesus isn't a human anymore. Jesus is God. Not God the Father. Jesus is God the Son. And it, here in John... It says we're going to be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now listen to this. Every man that has this hope in himself, get this, purifies himself even as he is pure. Friend, if you have the hope, understand what this is saying. If you have the hope that one day, you will see Jesus Christ and that we will be like Jesus. John says in verse 3, if you have that hope, you will purify yourself even as Christ is pure. That right there is telling us we got something to do. We need to work on purifying ourselves, becoming more like Christ to walk and live and become Christians, to be Christ-like. Verse 4 says, 
whoever commits sin transgresses against the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he, Jesus Christ, was manifested to take away our sin, and in Christ there is no sin. Friend, are we in Christ? Is Christ in us? Verse 6. Whosoever abides in him sins not. Now, friend, understand John is saying, if you are abiding in Christ, praise God, I, the revelation of that. If you are living and abiding in Christ, you will not sin. Friend, when you are in your prayer closet, when you are worshiping the Lord, and you feel His presence from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, are you going to tell me that you're sinning in that moment? Absolutely not. You have drawn nine to God. God draws nine to you and the devil flees. Whosoever abides in Him sins not. Whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil. Well, friend, right there, that lets you know that if you are committing sin, you're of the devil. If you are practicing sin, you're of the devil. If you are living in sin, that's of the devil. You are following the father of this world if you're living and actively practicing sin. He that is committing sin... Verse 6, I mean, verse 8 says, He that commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning, and it's for this purpose that the Son of God was manifested. That word manifested means brought to light, to be made known, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God in this the children of God are manifest or made known and the children of the devil is made manifest or known whosoever does not righteousness is not of God neither he that loves not his brother. For this is the message that you have heard from the very beginning, that we should love one another. We should love one another. Friend, I'm going to end the reading of God's Word right there. God bless you. You have a wonderful and blessed day.